Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another grocery haul and meal plan. Today I am at Walmart. I spent $166 on groceries and another hundred on non-food items. So I know some people just are interested in knowing what the grocery total is. So um, just those were 166. So when I get home, I will show you everything I got as well as the meal plan for this week. All right, so here's everything I got. I just put most of the food here and then the non-food stuff over there. So I'll start with the produce. I did get a pineapple. I did not get one last week and uh, it's just something that we all like to eat kind of with a side for dinner or the kids will eat it for breakfast with granola bar. I did get some blueberries, some uh, bananas. I try to get them a little bit green that way they don't all ripen like super early in the week and then if I use banana for my smoothies usually I have it frozen already in the freezer so I'm not using like fresh banana for that. Uh, I did get some of this fresh salsa. This is the market side so the Walmart brand. They had this actually over not in the produce section but by the hummus and we had been almost out of salsa so I grabbed that. I got one sort of heart or I guess head of romaine lettuce. It looks very, very dirty, uh, which is fine. But it's funny that I get this because I'm like, when I wash this, it's going to be so satisfying because look how dirty it is. Anywho, uh, I got two pounds of strawberries. Hi. Uh, some broccoli. That's going to be for dinner tonight on Sunday. I got four ears of corn. I'll have that for a side for um, dinner tomorrow. I got three limes and two lemons. I didn't quite need like a whole bag of each so I just got the single ones for now. Uh, one night this week I'm going to thaw out some smoked chicken that we have in the freezer and I thought I would make some coleslaw with that so I just got a bag of that. I was actually going to go to Aldi today but some of the things that I needed I can't always get there and coleslaw is one of them. I know some people say that their Aldi has bags of cabbage but I can never find it at mine. Uh, these were on sale at Walmart also the fresh mozzarella pearls for $2.48 so I got one of these along with the cherry tomatoes and then I have basil out on my back deck so I can always make like a quick caprese salad. <laughs> I got one bag of <laughs> shredded cheddar cheese, some uh, ricotta cheese, some cottage cheese, uh, I did get some French onion dip because I ended up getting some uh, plain chips for when we have those barbecue chicken sandwiches. We'd have chips and dip. Uh, some sour cream. I went ahead and got the big container because we were all out of that. And then some butter. I got one half gallon of 2% milk and then some uh, unsweetened almond milk. Uh, we can either use this on cereal or in smoothies. And then uh, for dinner tonight, I'm making ham croquettes, which is a kind of an old family recipe of mine. So um, I will probably have a video on that you can watch. But with that, I always make mashed potatoes and I always make instant mashed potatoes, not like regular, you know, homemade mashed potatoes. So I know some people are mashed potato snobs, but it tastes good with it. Uh, and then for those also, I got some ham. This is the kind of ham I like to get. For that recipe, you have to grind it up in the food processor um, and then you mix it with white sauce and form it into balls and bread them and fry them. So this is usually the kind of ham that I like to get for that, the Cure 81. Uh, I grabbed four of these orange yogurts. This is a Walmart brand. I've been getting these. Connor really likes them. And then for Kira and I, orange yogurt. I got three Nusa yogurt, a lemon, strawberry, and a vanilla. Yeah, and then from the deli case, these have been like pre-sliced, which is really nice. You don't have to wait. Uh, I got some chicken breast and then some of the white American cheese. I got some of that last week and it was really good. We liked it. I got a dozen eggs, two of these um, just cracking egg. They're like the scrambles that you can microwave. Sometimes Adam likes those for breakfast during the week. Some sharp cheddar cheese sticks. I pretty much get these every week and we have them in the fridge for snacks. Uh, I got some of this water flavoring, just the sugar-free um, raspberry lemonade. And then this, I think, is new. I haven't seen it before, at least at my Walmart. The Sir Kensington's Dressing. This one is pepperoncini Italian. It says, uh, a vibrant and herbaceous vinaigrette made with pepperoncini peppers, oregano, shallots, and garlic. So I thought this would be good on like some type of like an Italian salad. 
Uh, for dinner tomorrow, I am going to make some um, like grilled Asian chicken with uh, fried rice and veggies. And I thought this would be good to go with that. This is like the yum yum sauce that you can get like at the, you know, hibachi grill or whatever. I did get some easy cheese. I haven't bought this in a while, but I saw it there. And as you can see, I actually bought like a, a little bit more junk food than I normally buy. We will be having a four day weekend this coming week because it's 4th of July. So I figured what the heck. I saw like so many new chips and snacks and stuff and I haven't like, <laughs> I haven't gone crazy with snacks in a while. So I figured what the heck. Okay, so I got that. And then I also got some just plain wheat thins. <laughs> Uh, for the ham croquettes, I just needed plain breadcrumbs, so I grabbed a container of those. Some croutons for salads, and then um, I saw that they had like tropical trail mix, uh, but we already have some nuts in the pantry, and so I figured I could just buy the fruit and make my own, maybe do like these, some cashews and some white chocolate chips, so I'm planning on making those up into little like snack packs. Uh, I got some Velveeta cheese. This is for the cheese sauce that goes on the ham croquettes. Uh, do you guys buy generic Velveeta? Velveeta is one of those things that I will never buy the generic of. I don't know why. Let me know your thoughts on that. I always just buy the name brand even though it's like $8 <laughs> per package. Uh, for a treat for the kids, I did get them some of these Icy's. Let me know if you've tried these. I think you just put them in the freezer and then they freeze up like into a slushy. Uh, so we'll see how those work. I got Adam some sunflower seeds, some... Um, strawberry cheesecake uh, or cherry cheesecake ice cream to keep in the freezer. Uh, some tortilla chips. I'm trying these. Great value. Lightly salted restaurant style. I don't think I've tried these before, but they were only like 98 cents. So I tried those. And then I also saw these Smokehouse Barbecue Ruffles. Um, the kids really like barbecue flavored chips, so I thought we'd give these a try. I think actually somebody already broke into them, but um, I did try one. They're pretty good. And then I just got the Walmart brand of regular like wavy potato chips for the French onion dip, some frozen green beans for dinner tomorrow, and then I've seen these a lot in the grocery store and I've resisted buying them until now. The Cheez-It snapped, so I did get the cheddar, sour cream, and onion, so let me know if you've tried these and you like them. I don't know how they can be bad, honestly. <laughs> I got some... Um... <laughs> I got some wheat bread. Uh, I get this every week and then some buns for the barbecue chicken. Uh, okay, so for non-food, I got some Ziploc bags, some Q-tips, some foil. I decided to just get the Walmart brand this time and see how I like that. Normally I buy Reynolds wrap, but this was cheaper and so I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, I got some Old Spice body, or not body spray, body wash for Adam. Uh, I saw these at Hy-Vee. Actually, I had to stop at Hy-Vee and grab some bread because I forgot it at Walmart. And I saw these Smarties squashies. They're like, I don't know, like gummy candy. So anyway, we'll see how those are. They're like a dollar a bag. And then Connor wanted some of these type of like goggles and stuff. So they were, they were all out of bang except for this one can at Walmart for Adam, so I got one of the Sour Heads, one like sugar-free Monster, a sugar-free Rockstar, and a sugar-free Red Bull. And then at Hy-Vee, I got a couple of different, just a second, a couple of different um, Boulevard beers. This one is a Pineapple Coconut, and then this one is Easy Sport, which is Tangerine Peel and Sea Salt, like a light beer. So I really, we really like Boulevard beers. They are obviously local to Kansas City, and we go down there often and go to their uh, beer hall. It's awesome. Uh, okay, so we, uh, or I got Connor some more uh, swim trunks. I think this is the third pair I've got for him, so that should be <laughs> enough, hopefully, to last him throughout the summer unless he loses them. I got some dishwasher cleaner and some garbage disposal cleaner. This is both the Glisten brand. I think this is an Ibotta rebate this week, so if you guys haven't tried Ibotta, I know I talk about it all the time, but I've gotten like over $2,000 back from them over the last couple years, and it's legit. I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to download the app. I needed some more makeup. This is the foundation that I like the most, and I even like it more than um, Clinique. This is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Enhancer, so wait, now that I like it, they will get rid of it. Uh, I also got some Neutrogena concealer, some rubber gloves because I need an extra pair of those. I got some like cute 4th of July sunglasses for the kids, um, some scotch tape, 
I got a little stapler to put down here in the kitchen. We have one upstairs in the office, but sometimes I need to staple something and I don't have a stapler down here and I thought this one was like cute and little. Um, I got a scrub scrubber thing for um, when I clean the tubs and the showers upstairs. A pumice stone for, this is what I like to use actually for um, like scrubbing my feet in the shower. I just put some like um, scrub like gel on there like you know pumice gel or whatever and it's really good to use to scrub your feet. Uh, I got cough drops, we're out of those. Some spray sunscreen, um, a magnetic list pad for the side of the fridge so that people can write down groceries if we're running low on something. Uh, I got one of these a couple weeks ago. It's just like, it was like five bucks. It's like a tank top um, for me. So I grabbed that. Uh, toilet paper and then um, three things of sparkling water. So bubbly that's like the unsweetened kind the blackberry one is really really good like with a squeeze of lime in it i like it a lot and then i got cherry limeade flavored water and mandarin orange flavored water also okay so here is what i have planned for meals this week um sometimes i still get questions on my meal planner i always have a link in my description box it's a carrie l weekly meal planner um, so tonight I'm making ham croquettes with potatoes and broccoli and that will be a separate video if it's already posted by the time this goes live I'll link it down below um, Tomorrow I'm making that like grilled Asian chicken with rice and green beans and then I also got some corn to make um, On Tuesday I have a, a home chef meal coming. It's a steak chimichangas So I'm gonna make that and then Kira doesn't really like that So I have like a two serving salmon meal coming too. So I might make that for her and then Wednesday, I have down to make the barbecue smoked chicken with coleslaw and chips and fruit. And then I don't know yet what we're doing for the 4th of July or on the 5th because um, we're both off that day. So that is what I have planned for this week. So thanks so much for watching this grocery haul and meal plan. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.